beach day. It's so windy out. So everyone's huddled by the wall here. walked to now like a park which is where i think everyone is right now because it's so windy people who don't want to bother with the sand on the beach hope you can hear me over the wind i still have the view of the ocean i think i'm gonna get a coffee then see you can still see the ocean we don't have to deal with the sand perfect <laughs> yesterday but I ended up going to the coffee then which was a cafe on my list to try they're from Japan but they have a few in Portugal and it was good I had a matcha I've been craving a matcha so I'm glad I got one I really like the vibe in there they had some good music playing but it's about 8 30 now and I'm going to head to a local cafe pastaria and I'm gonna get a Portuguese croissant and a cappuccino and have myself a little Portuguese brekkie. I'm just wearing my long black flowy dress. It's actually only 60 degrees out right now this morning. I'm gonna throw on a little sweatshirt and I'm gonna walk there and then stop at Lidl, get some groceries I think. And this evening I have yoga, which I'm looking forward to. And I think I'm just gonna edit my video in the city. Oh. All right, let's go walk to the cafe. at the cafe for a while, had breakfast, edited some TikToks, journaled, people watched. The owner of the cafe is not very nice. I noticed that before. <laughs> um, just a side note. Uh, then I went to the grocery store, sat in the park, dog jumped up on my lap. That was nice. Got to hang out with the dog. Weather's gorgeous today. I'm quite, I don't know, a little lonely. This morning's kind of going quite slow. Uh, trying to figure out what cafe I want to edit my video in later today in the city. I mean, I was afraid I wasn't going to meet people, but I thought maybe I would. I met one girl on Bumble BFF, which was really nice. Um, thing is she was only here. She left Porto now. I don't know, I thought I'd meet people more at yoga or uh, at the beach or at cafes and it just doesn't really seem to be the case. I feel like there's not a lot of people my age around. They're usually between like 
13 to 17, I'd say, out, or then, or they're like 30 and up. So it's interesting. I feel like I don't know where the people who are like in their 20s are. And if they are, they're just traveling with friends and they're passing by. That's where my head is at now. On Friday, I go to Switzerland and I'm gonna visit some people there. So I'm looking forward to that. Change of scenery, maybe some more interactions. Oh, I wanted to say, Portuguese croissant is good. It's more like a challah bread rather than a croissant, if you don't know. Um, but if I had to pick challah bread or Portuguese croissant, I'd pick challah bread with raisins because why would you not have challah without raisins? Um, but that cappuccino is very good. I don't want to end it. I want to keep talking, but I don't know what really to say. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Time for some lunch and I'm going to watch some YouTube. I'm at Bolong Market. I did some editing at the cafe at Mesa 325. And I'm gonna show you what I got at the market. I got some Preta black olives. So I got 50 cents worth. I got figs and I got one euro worth of figs. So many, this would have been like five or six bucks. Though. And this is the most expensive purchase. But I got, I'd, I've been wanting some like Portuguese cheese. So I sampled some cheeses and I got um, goat and sheep cheese. I also brought a cold pack so I can keep the stuff in. Mmm, yummy. Wednesday. I'm actually gonna head out to meet a Instagram friend, Bia, and she's from Porto. I messaged her a while ago, said I was coming to Porto, and we're gonna go grab a coffee at Odetta Bakery. It's a vegan bakery. They actually have like more like German style breads and everything. They have pizza too, which I'd like to try at some point because the pizza like crust looks good. Looks like so nice homemade. I spent the morning editing, packing for Switzerland tomorrow. You'll get a full vlog on that. Don't you worry. I guess I'll update you more later, but yeah, I didn't get to talk to you that much yesterday.
windy, but not like last time. This is like an average windy. The water's so close. It's crazy. It's nice though, because if I want to go in the water, I don't have to walk very far. <laughs> I'm here with Bia and we're at Neva. Um, having gelato by the beach. Yum yum. I'm gonna have to do a taste test. Okay, okay. wait. Acai and banana. Mango and fig. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it doesn't disappoint like any time. <laughs> really good. <laughs> yum. showered and I have to give you a little update of what went down yesterday and today yesterday oh my god I was completely wrong I I'm sorry Bia <laughs> if you're watching I I got the date wrong of when we were supposed to meet so I ended up walking around Porto and I went to Humana. They do this thing where they sell their everything for five euro and then we'll drop it to four euro and then like two euro. So yesterday was a two euro day. Lots of people running around craziness. I mean, it wasn't that, it wasn't that crazy, but a lot of people in there. And um, they even like take the curtains off the changing room. So like, I guess people aren't in there for too long. So girls just in there like bras and just changing and everything. I got this green top. And it's just like this button up, really pretty color. I love this color, you notice. I have a few things in this color. I don't know, I just feel really good when I wear it. And then I got this gray skirt. It reminds me of the Jerfab skirt and I really liked that skirt. Kind of was looking for something similar. Also looking for a cargo skirt. But yeah, I picked that up and that was four euro total. Then I went to Rhoda du Shaw, which is a tea place. Um, in Porto, it's by the Crystal Palace Gardens. I was gonna wander around there, but I was kind of tired at that point and feel like wandering around the gardens. I got a spot of tea. I got a port wine tea. Sorry, my hair is dripping. I got the vintage. Last time I think I got the tawny. That was really good. That place is so cute. It's like a garden area. I was there before last year with my mom. We just like happened to run across it and it's really cute. So I'd recommend going there if you're in Porto for like tea and they have cakes and they also have brunch and some like little food things. And then today I did stuff, edited my video, went around the house doing stuff, packing because tomorrow I'm going to Switzerland as I mentioned. Um, but I'll talk about that in a Switzerland vlog. And I met Bia. Now I got the date right. <laughs> And we had met um, over Instagram. I found her on YouTube, so I DM'd her. We went to get gelato. I got the fig flavor, which was very good, and the mango, but I like, I like the fig better. And then we got coffee at the coffee, hung out by the beach, talked for a while. It was really nice. And, and yeah, I'm glad we finally got to meet. Now I think I'm gonna finish editing my London video for tomorrow. Have a chill evening, go to bed early because I have a 7 a.m. flight 
meaning I should leave here around 4.45-ish. I guess I'll end the video here. Leave a comment. I never say that, but yeah, leave a comment. How about we comment the tea emoji? Like teapot or tea? I don't know. Is that weird? Is no one gonna do it? I feel like no one's gonna do it. I'm gonna go. Bye. Thank you.